The InSight mission is a uh, lander and it's launching to Mars on the 5th of May. It takes six months to get to Mars and once we land on Mars, um, we're actually going to listen for the vital signs of Mars. What the goal of this is, is to really understand how rocky planets are formed and how they differ from each other and why. Um, so it has a seismometer that's going to listen for Mars quakes and that gives us an idea of what the interior of Mars looks like because from the seismic waves we can understand what the different, um, you know, whether it has a mantle or a core or multiple cores and how it differs from Earth. It also has a heat flow and physical properties probe um, which is a self-hammering nail, and it's going to go down the surface of Mars by 5 meters or 15 feet. Um, so that's pretty far down. That's the furthest we've ever gone under the surface of any other planet. Uh, and the probe, once it's down, it's going to um, try to understand how the interior of Mars is cooling. Um, so it can measure the heat along the tether that it drags down with it and that gives us an idea of the heat differential under the surface. And then we have RISE, which is a gravity science experiment that uses the radio signals that we already have and that will learn how the, um, how the planet is flexing or wobbling. So it has solar arrays, uh, similar to what you might have on the roof of your house, um, about the same uh, quality in fact, but that gives us power at Mars, so we don't need any um, we don't need any plutonium or anything like that, like other missions do. We solely rely on our solar arrays. We also have two color cameras that are over here on the arm that you see. Um, so the cameras both give us context imaging of what's going on around Mars, and it also helps us with the deployment of the instruments. So one of the most complex things that we're doing with InSight that we've never done in terms of technology, we've never done on any other mission before, is that when we land, our key instruments are on the deck of, of the lander. We need them to be on the surface so they can listen to Mars. So we have to take that robotic arm, pick up the instruments from the deck, and put them on the surface. So that last meter or so that we have to go from the deck to the surface, for me is actually the scariest thing, let alone launching or landing on Mars, going that last meter and, and deploying those super sensitive instruments. Um, that is something we've been practicing for, we're ready for it, but I'm both excited and nervous about doing that. Um, so together the three instruments should help us discover what the inside of Mars looks like and how it differs from Earth, and that might give us a better idea of how planets form, not only planets in our solar system, but also exoplanets.